Hello, I've had many requests asking me to see if I could do a, a quick video on gripper technique and setting. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm hoping to show you how I do it, how I close the gripper, the things I think about, and um, hopefully there's something there that you can use and help you in your journey towards achieving your goals. So first thing I'd like to talk about is stand. So I stand, I set my feet shoulder width apart and I have my arm not too extended, not too in, just halfway. And I try to think about stabilizing and recruiting everything. I'm not just thinking about my hand and closing it with my hand. I want to use as much muscle as can possibly contribute to the task. Okay. So it's just a uh, 3.5 there. So I set my feet shoulder width. So let's talk a little bit about how to place the gripper in your hand. And what I do is I try not to go by feel because I think feel can betray you. What I mean by that is if you feel good versus if you're having an off day, what feels right might not be the same. So I try to use the lines on my hand because they're always going to be in the same place um, to set up the positioning of the gripper. So I can do every rep in the same position week in week out and practice the same line of movement so I place the back handle up against this line here like so and then the bottom of the handle I want that straight down on that same line and I want it halfway up in line with the pinky finger. So the bottom there should be directly halfway up in line with the, the pinky. And then the front handle, I want that halfway up the ring finger here. So not down there, not up here, but just halfway right there. Now the thumb, the thumb, I'm going to bring it across and down as far as I possibly can, trying to get this thumb pad as far forward as possible. Now, I don't bring it across and up, but across and down. Then your left hand is going to, you're going to be pulling with your index finger and resisting and pushing with your thumb behind the back handle. Now, you don't want to use your fingertip because you're only going to be able to generate dozens of pounds of force there. What you need to do is get the handle down in the middle of the finger there. And now you're in a strong position and you can pull with hundreds of pounds of force. But all the pulling force in the world isn't going to help you unless you can stop this back handle sliding backwards with the thumb. So the strength, the contribution of this thumb, thumb to push forward and resist the gripper sliding back is enormous. The strength to pull with this finger you'll develop by doing grippers with your left hand. But in order to build enough resistance to push forward with this thumb, you need to do your pinch training. Now, I don't think it really matters um, which pinch device you use, whether it's a Saxon bar, a flask, Euro pinch device, Titan's telegraph key, it'll all work. But you need to build up the ability to resist as hard with that thumb as you can close with your index finger. Okay. Okay, 
safe. So this is just a, a GHB 9, 216, and a GHB block. So, setting my feet, placing the gripper, Now, if you notice, as I set the gripper down, I try to set it lower than is necessary. And that's very, very intentional. And there's three, three main reasons why I do that. Number one is we want to set up a stretch reflex. So whenever a muscle is stretched, as long as it's within physiological limits, it will contract back forcibly to protect itself. Secondly, the tendons. So the tendons do two things. Transmission of force from the muscles, but also they can temporarily store elastic energy, and then they have the potential to return um, that elastic energy too. So in this way, the tendons help buffer the workload being done by the muscles. So we want to use the force of the spring itself, opening up the hand to load that up, put that energy into the system, and then return the favor and crush it back down on itself. Um, the third reason is by setting it lower than needed, I can get my fingers more optimally around the handle in a good strong position. And then as the hand opens up, to go back to the starting with, we're trying to give up as little leverage as possible. So I don't want to give it one millimeter more than is necessary. Um, so some people set the gripper handle back here, like this, when they're doing a credit card set and other people are doing a block set a bit more forward what i do is i always set it the same right up here now as um as as you close as you start to set it it's going to slide back some it has to to accommodate the credit card but i don't want to give it any more than is necessary and i found over the years I've been able to improve by a few millimeters how far forward I can keep this back handle because the skin that you've got your thumb pad and your pinky pad and the skin on the pinky pad here will thicken a little bit over time and so as that smushes back the skin that's now behind the handle keeping it forward and that improves the leverage. So the times the I intentionally set it down lower than I needed is for a credit card set, a GHP block set, um, you know, a God's of Grip 20 mil a 30 millimeter block, a 20 millimeter block. Whenever you're going to swipe anything or insert anything, I set it down intentionally lower and open back a little bit. Um, the other time, to try to do that is if you're doing a deep set rep set so in that instance um, i'm going to try and close the hand let it stretch crush back stretch crush back versus crush relax crush relax because that is not using stretch reflex so let me see if i can give a demonstration of that I put chalk everywhere. I know some people just like to put it here, but I, I put it on all my fingers everywhere. Okay. So this is a number four, um, 220. Yeah.
So if you notice there, at the end of the set, I tried to slowly open the gripper. One, two, three, four. Um, I think controlling the eccentric in that way helps with strength gains and uh, helps encourage the uh, collagen to lay down and grow back stronger. So on the, on the towards the end of your workout, on the last reps, I would encourage that slow um, controlled eccentric to help improve gains. Um, so that's mostly it. It's pretty simple. I think, you know, as I showed you there, how I set the gripper up with the lines of my hand, obviously, you know, these lines are unique to me. Everyone's hand is going to be different. So you may not be able to copy exactly the positions that I did, but you can copy the process and the thinking. Um, so find what works for you. Experiment with the gripper in different positions. Find what works for you, and then you can do every rep the same, and that will help you to progress. Um, another thing I'd like to, it's not really a physical technique, but more of a mental technique, is the power of um, positive self-talk. So on the day of your workout, and when you put the gripper in your hand, if you're telling yourself, uh, I can close this gripper today, I will close this gripper today, I am closing this gripper today, you're more likely to give 100% effort and have, give yourself every chance to succeed. Versus if you say to yourself, oh, I've failed this before, you know, maybe I can do it, maybe I can't, uh, you know, I'll give it a go. You set yourself up for failure because now you're probably going to give it an 85% effort, half ass it, and, you know, much less likely to get it. Um, now, obviously, you have to be realistic with that. If we give a hypothetical example, if someone can close a two, they can't say, okay, next, this week I'm going to close the four. It's not happening. But if they say to themselves, uh, last week I closed a 1.5 for seven reps, you know, I've ate well, I've slept well, today I'm going to close it for eight reps. That is realistic. That they can do. And then they've taken a little step to move forward and, and progress. So lots of small steps over time take you up to great heights. Um, I look forward to seeing lots more certifications, uh, some more number four closes, and um, I wish everybody the best of luck. Take care. Thank you.